hello again. So Vaughn's try to make an SSTO use the only part from a tier level, and he could not make one from tier one. I'm going to say this. This is impossible to do, and I'm going to prove this using math. In the old days of Caspi, the game didn't have Delta V readouts like today. So if you want to know how much Delta V you had, you had two options. First, calculate by hand. Second, just in download the mod. Most people download the mods because that's the easiest thing to do. But if you download the mod, the mod would not cover every single scenario. So if you just want to switch between jet engines to rocket engines, if you have SCS, if you use real fuse, the delta v readouts don't show. You need to use the delta v equation. The delta v equation is actually pretty simple. It's just the natural log of the ratio of the full mass by dry mass times the SP times gravity. And, and for this scenario, only the ratio is important. Because Caspi is a game, every part has a dry mass and a full mass already made. With that, you can discover the maximum delta V that you can fit in a single stage if you have a set values of parts. For solids, that's easy because they carry their own fuel. So you have a complete set of full mass, dry mass into a single point without the payload, of course. We can take the flea engine, that's the only engine available on tier one, that's 1.5 ton full, 0.45 ton empty, and that gives a ratio of 3.33333 at infinity. With that, the natural log is 1.204. That's the round number. I like to round stuff up because that's make the math easier a lot of times. And we can just take this number and multiply by the gravity. That's 9.81. Multiply again by the ISP, the 1.65, the vacuum ISP, and you get uh, 1,948 meters a second of delta V on a single flea stage. And if you open KSP, if you open the game, the Carbon Engineer gives the same value. So that shows that I can use a calculator, but let's be honest, that's pretty easy to do. That's not the hardest thing to do. So now instead of one engine, let's add 10 engines. Because the full mass goes 10x, dry mass, goes grows 10x. So the ratio is still 3.3333. If we add 100 engines, the dry mass is now 100 times, but the full mass is 100 times. So the ratio is still 3.3333. Can add a thousand parts, the ratio keeps the same. You can add a billion parts in this stage, and you're going to have the exact same ratio. So it doesn't matter how much parts you add to this stage, you're only going to get 1,948 meters a second. So that's the maximum value because each stage can only go to a, around 1,900 meters a second. If you want to go to carbon orbit, that requires around 3,500 meters a second. You could use two stages, but that assumes a perfect graph turn, very low drag, and a lot of parts. The sweet spot, it's actually three stages because you don't need a really high part count and there's enough margin to actually fly the thing. So now you know why rocket stage is not only a matter of adding more fuel, but improving the fuel to dry mass ratio. So that's why if you look at any real life SSTO, they go for carbon fiber tanks because that's really light. Hydrogen because of really high SP. And they're huge because not only the volume of the tanks grow fast in the area of the tanks, so the less material you need to envelop the entire tank, the avionics payload power are less and less of the dry mass in total. If you learn something new, you can help the channel grow by subscribing. If you want to help directly, there's a link in the description. And goodbye. Until next time.